Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. If you follow my Facebook page or my website, kayakcatfish.com, you know that I am competing in the Spring Yak Tribe Tournament. Now this tournament is a multi-species tournament, involves freshwater and saltwater fish. If you're interested in, in more details about that tournament, I'll put a little link down in the description below there. You can check that out. But this tournament runs from May 15th to June 15th, and today is day one. Today is Tuesday, May 15th, so I'm about to get out here and get it started. Now, for this tournament, catfish, which I fish for, are obviously one of the eligible species. So that's what I'm going to be targeting this month, is, is as big a catfish as I can catch. Now, this tournament's a little bit of a challenge in that uh, in order to make it competitive and keep it fair for everyone who's fishing for the various species, they have made it a slot limit tournament. And what that means is you're allowed to submit eight fish over the course of the month, but six of them have to be within certain slot parameters and for catfish that's 16 to 24 inches the other two fish can be as big as you can catch them so 24 inches for a catfish at least out here anyway is uh, quite the challenge because most of the dinks I catch are longer their catfish are long fish so they're longer than 24 inches but if you're going to be successful in this tournament you got to get your six slot fish as close to that 24 inch mark without going over as possible so I'm going to be measuring every small fish I catch this month, trying to just max out that, that slot limit size. Now the other two fish, like I said, can be as big as you can catch them. So basically this month I'm looking for six small fish and two whoppers. So I'm going to get out here and get started today. Now out here today TVA isn't generating at all. They're not running any current until 11 a.m. And where I'm fishing at today, it's probably going to be about 1 o'clock before the current even gets to me. So I'm going to be trolling today. I'll have two baits dragging off the back of the kayak and then two more suspended off the front. I'll be using white bass today. I went out yesterday. The white bass bite is still on fire here. So I'm going to take advantage while I can and just continue to use those and kind of save my skipjack supply uh, for when times get hard here in a few weeks. Uh, the timing of this tournament makes it tough, and I ran into this problem when I fished it last year. The tournament being May 15th to June 15th, here where I fish, the catfish typically spawn at some point in the month of June, depending on moon phase and water temps and all that. So last year I ran into that problem. I, the first couple weeks I did well, and then it just, boom, light switch, bite was off. And so all the fish I submitted last year, I submitted within that first couple weeks, which, you know, knocks on wood, I don't want to jinx myself, but I did win that tournament. So I'm hoping to do well in this one too. There's a lot of people fishing in it, and there's over 80 people entered in this tournament, and there's some pretty big names in it. So it's going to, definitely going to be a, a competitive tournament. There's going to be some big scores put out in it. And hopefully I'm going to be up there near the top when it's over. I'm going to give it my best shot. So I'm going to get out here and get set up. We'll get started. There we go. There we go. Oh, well, he's pulling, ain't he? Look at that. He's ripping drag. Let's get rid of the camera here. Step one, honey, have the damn thing on. <laughs> he's pulling, man. That's a pretty good fish right there, I believe, y'all. That's a good one. Yeah, buddy. Got baits dragging off behind me here, so I don't want this fish to pull me in a complete circle. So I'll try to fight him off here and keep my kayak going straight. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good one. It's a good sign. I've been out here 20 minutes or so, probably. Got us a good fish. Oh, one eye. This fish ain't got one eye. Let's lose this rod holder. Come on in here, good buddy. Let's bring him up here and show him off to the world. Look at there. <laughs> Pretty good fish. He uh, ain't got but one eye. I don't know if you can see on that side. But uh, I don't think this fish is going to help me much as far as the tournament goes. Uh, I'm going to need two fish a lot bigger than this for my over slot size. But I'm going to go ahead and throw him on this board up here anyway and just kind of get a length on him. And uh, we'll, we'll see. I may end up getting some pictures of him here. Oh, 
All right, y'all. There he is one more time. I got some pictures of him there. It looks like he's probably somewhere between 33 and 34 inches. I'll have to zoom in on the picture there when I get to the house. So pretty good fish. Don't know if he'll help me in the tournament or not, but better to go ahead and get the pictures and have it just in case. But I've had this fish out of the water a little longer than what I like to keep them out. So I'm going to let him go, get him revived here, send him home. He's ready to go, man. He took right off. Let's get back to it. So I got one on this rod right here, I think. I sure do. <laughs> I had moved this rod. I had to take these rod holders off to lay this measuring board across here. And I had this rod up in my other rod holder. The uh, Hobie Outback I have has these molded in rod holders throughout it. And I'd stuck this rod here to get out of the way. The fish hit it while I had it up. Alright y'all, there we go. A little dink blue. We got the board laid out here from the last one. Let's just go ahead and measure. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, this one here is 26 inches. Come here, buddy. That one there, y'all. He's 26 inches, and that's kind of what I'm talking about with the, these blue cats being so such a long fish. To get six of them 24 inches and under, that's you know close to 24 inches anyway, without going over, that's a challenge for me in this tournament here. But uh, these fish, I don't mind catching them this size though. They have fun fight, especially when you suspend fishing. So I'm gonna let him go and get back to it here. Both of those fish came on my suspended baits. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch these two dragging rods. I'm going to switch them over to suspended too and just continue trolling back down through here. So I'm going to get all baited up again here and we'll get started. There we go. There we go. He took off with it, didn't he? <laughs> No bigger than he is, buddy. He nailed it. <laughs> I've switched everything over to suspended baits. Just because, you know, having to take the extra time to measure these fish, it's going to make it challenging to uh, be able to drag baits. Because the wind, the wind's not bad today, but on days where it is, uh, I'm just going to get spun in circles while I measure the fish. Um, get my lines all tangled up. It's just going to be more to hassle than sport. Oh, we got one going down here too. That one didn't hook up. Oh, here goes this one too, y'all. Oh, I'm in a little school of them here. That one didn't hook up either, I don't think. All right, y'all, another little one here. I'm. Oh, oh, that one's going. He's on there. Let's set that down and see. Let's set that one down. Let's deal with this one. <laughs> I've had every one of these rods get hit in the last minute. Them other two that hit them front rods didn't hook up. This one here is a little bigger than that one. I'm going to measure that one. I think he's going to be longer than the 24 inch that I need for the slot, but I want to measure him before I throw him away. Oh gosh, there goes that other rod. Yeah, that one's on that one too. We got one in the boat and two in the on the rods right now. All I need is that other third rod to go down. Oh, it's a flathead right here, y'all. That's a flatty. Yeah, buddy, look at that. All right, I'll tell you what we gotta do. First things first, we'll put him back in the holder. That's pulling hard right there, too. Now let's deal with this other one here. We still got this one in the kayak. It's <laughs> a pretty nice flathead. I'd love to pull this one up. It'd be a flathead, too. Oh, it's a blue right here. All right. Well, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's stick that one back in the holder as well. Grab this other measuring board here. Yeah, I'm confident he's too big. Yeah. 
that one's way too big for the for my slot fish, so let's let him go. And let's land this flathead now. Boy, well, fishing's fun when it's like this, ain't it? <laughs> It's fun like this. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's lose that. Look at that right there, y'all. <laughs> Not a bad flathead at all. Not a bad one at all. I'm gonna throw him on this board. He ain't gonna be long enough, I don't believe, to fool with getting a picture of. No, y'all, best I can tell, that one's about 31 inches, so. Dang nice flathead. <laughs> but I ain't gonna fool with taking pictures of him for a tournament. <laughs> Man, fishing's fun like this. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. Next time. Now, let's get this last one in here. A little fat cat blue right there man I just just trolling along here and just went through a school level and that's the fun thing about suspend fishing like this with four rods just kind of spaced around the kayak is you'll do that you'll go for long stretches of nothing and just boom 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 they all go down <laughs> let's let him go and I'm gonna get baited up and get back to it Dink is just sitting on there just chewing that bait up. Can't get a hook. There he goes. I think he finally got himself hooked. <laughs> He's been pecking at that thing for 10 minutes. Oh, ain't no crazy like that. What makes you want to be like that? What makes you want to act like that? On camera. All right, we got the culprit right there. That's the one that's been chewing up my bait down there. <laughs> He's a little longer than what I need for my slot fish, so I'm going to let him go. and We'll get back to it. Keep making our way down through here. Oh, there we go, y'all. There we go. Fish on. Fish on right there. It had been a minute. More like about two hours since my last bite. I continued working my way on down, the bite tapered off, and I was kind of in a dilemma. Do I keep going, or do I come back up above where I started at earlier and try to go through those fish again? And so that's what I done. I made a move to come on back upstream from where I launched at and make my way back down through where I was catching them earlier. That's the first one I've got in a while. All right, y'all, another fat blue cat right there too long to measure from a slot fish but good to get some action again like I said it's been a couple hours since I had a bite so good to get back on the fish I'm gonna get that bait back down there keep making my way down fish on fish on right there that's a little better blue cat right here when he hit it I didn't think he was that big I think maybe he just saving his energy, maybe. We'll see. Probably go crazy when I get him up here beside the kayak. All right, y'all. Another fat one right there, buddy. When he first hit it, I thought, you know, that's just a little, just a real small dink. But he fooled me. He didn't fight all that hard to be as big as he is. <laughs> they sure are fun, though. I don't care how hard they fight or... How big or small they are, I enjoy them all. Let's let him go. Go get big for me, buddy. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Put another head on this rod right here. Get baited up with that one. That one hit. Just a little pecking at him. Let's see if he's on there. I think he is on there. There he is, buddy. <laughs> I was just getting that other rod baited up. About to drop it down. Just got back on them here. Just 
doing what I tell you to do. Move along, just keep moving. Keep your bait on good structure. And you eventually get on. I'm gonna set him down a second. And I'm gonna put this other rod back out. Put the, put the head back here. I'm gonna drop it down. And then we'll land this small one. Set this one here on the board, just take a look. That one there. That one there's 20, a little over 25 inches, so still longer than what I need from a slot fish. But when he nailed that bait, he nailed it, didn't he? He had that rod tip plumb over in the water. Let's let him go get bigger. Onward we go. Get it, there he is. See if he takes it. Yep, he's gonna take it. Here we go. Fish on. Oh man, that one's taking off, buddy. That's a good one, I think. That's a good one. Let's take it. I got the other one there in the rod holder. Oh, he was pulling some drag, wasn't he? I even know I'm in this tournament where the emphasis is on small fish. I still get way more excited for the big ones. I'd rather lose this tournament and catch a whopper than to catch a bunch of small fish and do well. Yeah, that's another good blue cat right here, buddy. That's another good one. All right, I'll tell you what let's do first. I'll tell you what let's do first. I'm gonna leave him sitting there on that rod holder. I'm gonna land this smaller one. And then I'm gonna get this board set up and I'm gonna measure that fish, get some pictures. Oh, that's another little flathead right here, guys. Second one of the day. Heck yeah, man. We're gonna have to measure this flathead too. He's small enough. I think he may be one of my slot fish. Looky there. Pretty little flathead, ain't he? I love these flatheads, man. They are just a beautiful fish. <laughs> I'm gonna throw him on this board and just say he's probably gonna be too long, but I just wanna make sure before I toss him back. Yeah, he's got 25 and a half. Just slightly longer than what I need for him a slot fish, but I sure am thankful to get him. <laughs> Alright, well let's let him go. And now let's deal with this fish. Move these rod holders out of the way. And let's get this board up here. Get it ready. Get the camera out, get it turned on. Right, I think we're ready to land him now. There we go, buddy. There we go. Let's get this hook out of him right quick. Let's get that. He hit that big old white bass head right there, guys. That's what he eat. Them heads, white bass, skipjack, they have big fish bait. All right, y'all. This fish behaved the whole time. Believe it or not, he's about 35 inches or so. Like I said, I'll have to zoom in when I get to get home and get the pictures uploaded. I ain't going to sit there and try to figure it out while i got him being all calm on the board. But another dang good fish, man. That's my second really good one of the day. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. I'm going to let him go. See you, buddy. Let go of my hand. He's gone back where he come from. All right, y'all, I'm just now getting home and getting unloaded. I had to make a quick run for it right fast. There was a storm coming, and I had to beat it off the water, so I didn't get to film a closing while I was out there. But you know what, though? Today was just a great day of fishing, probably the best day of fishing I've had this year so far. I got those two really nice blue cats. I got those two flatheads, and then I had a bunch of smaller blues as well. 
and I got them all on suspend fishing, which as you all who watch my channel know, that's my favorite way to catch fish. I always have a lot of fun when I'm, when I'm catching them like that. So great day out there today. Uh, as far as the tournament goes, uh, you know, those two fish, as great as they were, when you're in a tournament with over 80 people and it's a month long, if I've still got those two fish on my score at the end of the at the end of the time here on June 15th, uh, your old pal Justin didn't fare too well in that tournament. But you know what? We got a month left to fish. There's still plenty of time out there to, to improve my score by a lot. So I'm gonna stay after them. I'm not gonna keep talking about the tournament stuff and these future videos here, even though that I'm gonna be fishing for them in the next few videos just because I know most of you who watch my channel don't give a crap about this tournament. And I don't blame you. If I was watching this channel, I wouldn't care about that garbage either. So I know there are some of you though who are currently fishing this tournament as well. Good luck to you. I wish you the best. Uh, finish as high as you want to as long as it's one spot behind me. But uh, I'm gonna have some fun this next month here just fishing for this thing. And, and uh, you know, this we're just in that time of year now where fishing should get good right up until the spawn and then of course after the spawn there july august that's when i do my best fishing of the year so i'm really looking forward to the next few months hopefully though i'm gonna do well in this tournament y'all wish me luck if you want to follow along with me make sure you follow my facebook page kayak catfish or my website kayakcatfish.com i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching